it is the night before I give Zeke his very first food. I'm feeling a little, like I've got butterflies. I feel like it's the night before Christmas. I'm nervous. I don't know how he's going to react. Um, I, I hope he likes what I give him. And we will see. Wish me luck. Like this weaning journey is going to be really interesting because there's so many different trains of thought about it. So hopefully, you know, you just can hope that you get it right because there's so many different ways to wean. So yeah, fingers crossed. I will keep you updated tomorrow because tomorrow's the day. Oh, eek. Good morning, darlings. I am up super duper early because I'm cooking Zeke. His very first sweet potato, ready for his first ever meal of solid food. Gosh, I literally didn't sleep a wink. I'm like a kid at Christmas. This is so exciting. Here it is, I've just put it on. And I already clumsily cut my finger. I was so excited for like cutting up the sweet potato. I cut my finger. <sighs> Hopefully that doesn't mean he's not gonna like it. The potato is going to boil up in about 30 minutes. Well, I'm going to make it like puree and then let it cool and then give it to him. So the reason I'm giving him sweet potato is because I read a book called Baby Cues with Nature or Baby Cues by Nature. It's by a woman called Philippa Murphy. I follow her on Instagram and I interviewed her for my podcast for weaning and I read her ebook. She's written an ebook. And it just made sense to me. I I don't want to rush weaning. I'm not in any hurry to like rush through it. Um, I know lots of different ways of doing it are right for different people. Um, but for the last, since he was four months, everybody has been on me. Give him solid food. He's not sleeping. Give him solid food. He's hungry. He's gripey. Give him solid food. He's hungry. And I'm like, he's not hungry. <laughs> I knew in my gut he wasn't ready. Um, and so I really was passionate about wanting to wait till he was six months, which is what the NHS and the World Health Organization suggests. Um, <clears throat> so today is his six month birthday, so I'm going to give him some sweet potato. And Philippa's method is just very calm, very slow, no rushing, just to like help his body and his digestion not be overloaded too soon. It just made sense to me, her, her writing. So... If you're coming up to weaning and you're feeling really pressured and you feel like, you know, there's so many people out there that are like, um, you know, every day, try a new vegetable, try a new spice, try a new flavour. And you're a bit like, oh, it doesn't quite sit right with you. Then Philippa's book is one for you um, because it just it gave me I knew in my gut that I wanted to take it really slowly, but it gave me the confidence and the knowledge to know that I was making the right decision. So yeah, today we're starting with a teaspoon of sweet potato and let's see what happens. I've heard the poos when he starts eating solid food are going to be insane. So I've just bought some new nappies because I accidentally bought some pull-up pants. Um, I don't know why they do pull-up pants in baby size nappies. He's gone from a four to a five in nappies and I stupidly bought the pull-up pants which are useless. Useless. The poo went all over his clothes every single time he pooed so i have bought some proper nappies and i am ready for the punamis that are coming my way so here we go we're going to take this off get rid of this one and we're gonna start with some pureed sweet potato my baby boy and his very first look at him look at him you want some of this, baby? You want some? I get a bit scared. Hey, here you go. You try some? <laughs> Do you like it or not? Do you want some more?
きまけ。見て、これ見て。おお。One teaspoon is all in, we're starting with today. Oh, Zeke. He's eating like a proper boy. Happy birthday, baby. Come on. Oh. I never imagined how cute he'd look. Do you like it? You like it, my baby boy. And that's it, we did it. Eek! His very first solid food. Gosh, it makes you so emotional. Congratulations, darling. Yay, you're winning. <sighs> Gosh, I was really nervous about that, actually. I really, oh, I had all sorts of mixed feelings because obviously it's like the end of an era because he's no longer like a baby baby, but also the beginning of a really scary, really new chapter that obviously I just don't know anything about because, well, we've never been through it before. But I think the sweet potato was a success. We will be giving it another teaspoon tomorrow morning. And I just, I'm so happy and excited and grateful for this journey. Like, this is just the best. Oh, it's just the best in the world. They, uh, yeah, I'm so, so, so lucky to have such a wonderful boy. And that's it. Six month birthday weaning done. Happy birthday to you. So from us darlings, if you're thinking about weaning, check out Philippa's book or just do whatever you think is right in your gut. You are a great parent and you know your baby best, so good luck with your weaning journeys. Kisses from us.